以筋筋 muscle tendon changing classics. Weeks one and two and three will be learning the the forms, and then week four we will be reviewing them all. So hopefully by the end you'll have kind of a a fairly good grasp of the the twelve and how to practice them on your own if you want to continue. The tendons they connect our muscles. To our bones and our bones, they play a very important role in our immune system.、Uh, osteoimmunology is the study of the relationship and correlation between the bones and immunity. So、um, when we pull a little bit or or have a little healthy stress of the the muscle. And then the connection of it through the tendon to the bones. Then the bones respond by getting more fortified. The idea is that you take the movement to its extreme, ne- never so much so that you undermine the quietness and the calm. Can something be extreme, maximum, and yet still done in a way that's very quiet and, and still? We can extend beyond what is our conventional experience, and this is why they're called the muscle and tendon changing、uh, series classics. To me, this is like an amazing practice. It's、um, one that I touch into quite a lot, but the principles of it I also find overlap a lot with martial arts. It's really very much about yin and yang, and you know, when we can embody the qualities of opposition and move fluidly and freely between them. Then we support our health and harmony within the body and the organ and meridian systems, and, and that will help us live a longer life.